Hey, how's it going everybody? Christine from Panic Pixel here. Today I wanted to do a bit of a retrospective on a project that I announced almost like a year ago now, uh, and that was my tech teardown project. So actually back in 2018, like February 24 or something, I announced on my blog that 2018 would be the year of the tech teardown for me because I wanted to learn more about electronics and how they work and everything. And I actually started that off pretty well but I think as 2018 went along I sort of lost steam and it just failed so basically this this whole video is just gonna be like a little unscripted kind of thing where I just talk about why that failed and just like the challenges behind it and everything and you know of course what I learned from it because this channel is about stuff I learned in the realm of tech yeah, gaming and stuff like that. So anyway, tech teardown project. I started it last year, February 24th. I think that was like around Chinese New Year. It's Chinese New Year now and I had like plans in place and everything. So I actually managed to get myself some broken hard drives and I did post the teardown videos. I just posted one teardown video but I didn't get to editing the second one. And then I also bought a kind of old PSP. I wouldn't say it's broken but it like the charging wasn't working anymore so I was like Oh, close enough to like a broken PSP and everything. So I bought that as well and I did a teardown of that. That was posted. And then I also had my Nintendo DS, the one that I used as a teenager, that also had like a broken screen and everything. So I ordered parts for it and I was supposed to do like a little teardown of the Nintendo DS and also kind of replacing the screen. But I don't know what happened because I already have the I had the parts and multiple times I already set up like my camera I was ready to record it but then I couldn't bring myself to actually do it like I mean I don't like the fact that you know I'm kind of basing this on like whether people want to see it or not or whatever but I also think that maybe there was really no value in creating something like that like all the effort that I was putting in no one was really going to learn from it, at least the way that I was handling these things because judging from at least the first two videos, I didn't really think it was like getting the kind of feedback that I actually really like getting on the channel. It just didn't start any conversations really. So I was thinking maybe if I were gonna do the teardowns, I would do like reflections with the teardowns and stuff like that. Uh, I started to realize that would take a lot of work. So I think that was one of the barriers on why that project failed. I think another reason why it failed was um, so after I did the hard disk drive teardown so I had two disk drives in my house and they are actually still here. I have like bits and pieces. I have the discs and all those screws and everything. Trying to be a responsible citizen, I was looking for a way to recycle it because these are metals, right? I don't want them to just like sit in a landfill and corrode. I feel we are now at a point where we should be able to throw away electronics and recycle them. How can technology have advanced so much but we are not able to recycle you know I was pretty optimistic Hong Kong did talk about how they were trying to improve electronic waste handling in general so there were a bunch of like initiatives and stuff like that so I was confident that I'd find a way to get rid of it but late last year I was already starting to clean out my room and as I was like cleaning up and trying to find ways to throw away like my old electronics, I also changed my PC case recently and I contacted about like four or five different companies and none of them would take my my electronics or whatever. The only things they would take were like televisions, refrigerators and stuff like that, which was really disappointing to me because I have seen on YouTube other countries where like 
you can basically take almost any kind of like metal thing or like electronic, bring it to like a recycling center and they would be happy to take it, right? I thought it would be the same way in Hong Kong considering how forward we are, right? Or at least how we portray ourselves. Like I thought we would be better. Apparently we're not. Just realizing that I could not throw away these things that I was tearing down just was bothering me from a moral standpoint. I just, that, that was just, that was it for me. I think another thing was really, I don't think I was learning as much as I wanted from the entire process. I did want to see how like things were kind of like put together and everything and how maybe different companies like or different products would kind of tie bits and pieces together but I think after building my own computer and also opening up maybe like two to three electronics I think I get kind of like the big picture gist of like how things are generally connected. If I really want to learn more about electronics, I feel I should go into more theory. I think the actual practice of opening things could only do so much for me if I wasn't actually supplementing it with like maybe some sort of educational material on, I don't know, YouTube or some sort of book or something. I, I still haven't figured it out. And I guess at the moment in my life right now, I just actually, I just changed jobs and I am in digital marketing. So I tend to dedicate my educational time on digital marketing courses or writing courses. I don't know. I also want to go into uh, doing more investment for my personal stuff and also getting into sort of business or productivity mindset. So at this point in my life, I'm not really too into learning about electronics. I mean, I could do it like casually, but it's not something that I would go very much into. There are other things that I feel take a higher priority in terms of learning. And actually, I do want to get back into learning Japanese and um, Mandarin because I think those are actually pretty useful for not only work, but also they're part of the interests I want to explore because I have also been getting back into anime recently. And a lot of like things in anime, it's like it's better experience when you know the language. So, yeah. So, when it comes down to it, the failure of it came down to number one, it not really being valuable for anyone, like for other people or myself. And secondly, it was because I could not really dispose of things responsibly. That was kind of like weighing me down from a moral standpoint. I don't know, I, maybe I was thinking too deeply about things, but in any case. Thirdly, it's uh, I don't really feel like it's that big of a priority in terms of like education for me. So that's kind of why it went down the drain and everything like that. But yeah, so uh, moving forward, there will not be any more tech teardowns on the channel, obviously, because yeah, I don't really think it's a good good use of my time at this point. And I mean, I do want to create more content in 2019. That is a firm commitment of mine. I have a few videos actually recorded in the lineup. I just have to edit them when I have time, I will make time. I will make time. This is an actual commitment. But in any case, I do also want to thank all of you for still sticking with me throughout everything that I do and don't do. We do have a community over on Discord. I know I don't make videos all that frequently, but if you do want to communicate with me and see some of the things that I'm interested in and like, you know, just see updates on my life. Uh, I am there on Discord. Also, I do post on Instagram, both on my 
personal brand account which is Christine Online and also Panic P Pixel. And for those of you who are new to the channel and somehow got to the end of this video, thank you very much by the way. Um, if you're interested in my gaming media and tech explorations, feel free to hit that subscribe button and click that cute little bell for upload notifications. So anyway guys, I hope you found this video useful and in Formative. Once again, I am Christine from Panic Pixel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around.